Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In this one, we'll discuss some home automation ideas. Without further ado, let's get started. Number 13. This all-in-one home automation system allows you to control your home appliances using a smartphone as well as an IR remote. To make it compact, it mainly uses SMD components soldered on a PCB. This makes it easier to place it behind your switchboard without requiring extra space. Irrespective of the controlling method, the status of the appliances can be monitored in real time on the app. It also remembers the last state of the lights and turns on only those appliances that were running before. Number 12. Though you can unlock a door using keys, why not make it smart and control it with a smartphone? In this project, Maxim used a servo motor that can open the door lock either using an HTTP request, MQTT control, or any other smart dashboard. The microcontroller is powered by an AC to DC converter that's attached to the top of the door. The lock can also be opened either using a physical push button or using keys, just in case of an emergency. Number 11. If you usually forget to water the plants on time or are worried about water wastage, then this smart watering system can help. It's an all-in-one solution made by Giovanni that first checks the soil moisture and displays the data on a dashboard. From this data, the automation system calculates the time to open and close each value to water the plants, thus avoiding water wastage. All this data can be viewed on the dashboard and can be varied if necessary. Number 10. In order to remotely control his telescope's cooling system, Michael relied on a home assistant. To make it work, he put two temperature sensors in the telescope. The first one is placed inside the mirror, while the other lies outside, sensing the ambient temperature. The home assistant compares both the temperature values and, based on the difference, it then turns the cooling system on and off. The smart dashboard makes it easy to track the performance of the cooling system and make certain changes from anywhere. Number 9. You can make your own smart home video doorbell using an ESP32 and a Raspberry Pi. It might look like a simple flat screen about the size of your phone but it has a camera and doorbell function. When someone rings the doorbell with a press on the screen, it sends a picture of the person right to your phone. You can even change its appearance and make it the way you want it to look to fit your home design. Plus, it also comes with a home assistant to make your life easier. Altium's a PCB design software that's both powerful and easy to use. With its intuitive interface and comprehensive set of features, Altium Designer makes it easy to create high-quality PCB designs. And with all-new Altium 365, now you can share your PCB designs with anyone from anywhere with a single click. With Octopart, you can get real-time component insights as you design your PCB in Altium. Check the description for more details. Number 8. Sometimes it becomes frustrating while waiting for a mail or any parcel that you've ordered. And checking your mailbox again and again is not a practical option. In that case, you could use this mail monitoring system. As any package is dropped into your mailbox, a switch gets triggered. An ESP32 camera module will take a photo of the package, and that photo will be sent directly to your Telegram messenger. The resolution of the picture is fine, which will aid you in distinguishing which parcels arrived. Number 7. If you're worried about feeding your pets when you're not around or are too far away, then this project can help. This feeder is powered by a motor that spins the auger to distribute the pet's food evenly into their bowl. Equipped with an ESP8266, the DIY pet feeder can be controlled from your phone. You only need to tap on the screen and this pet feeder will immediately roll out the food for your pets on the go. It seems quite simple, but there's so much to do to make this DIY feeder work. Number 6. If you're planning to build a DIY weather station, then make sure to take some notes from this project. 
you'll need a temperature, pressure sensor, and an enclosure to keep all of them safe. It gets the reading every 10 minutes and uploads that data over to a server called OceanBase. After that, all you need is an internet connection to check the readings on any mobile device, laptop, or computer. It can also keep track of the readings over a time period. Number 5. So now, let's discuss a way to turn your workbench smart. Lewis added LED cob lights to the corner of his wall that vary its color and pattern according to the status of the 3D printer. Whether it be a printing error or other notification, he doesn't have to look at the printer for updates. The LED notification takes care of it all. He also added the lights to the desk edges and underneath the shelf, which gives his complete workbench a superior look. Number 4. If you're looking to fully automate your home using a single dashboard, then this project will help you. Using this project, you'll learn how to stream a live video on a Home Assistant platform, as well as control the status of various devices using the same platform. The stream starts to lag if a higher resolution is selected, so try to keep the resolution low. The dashboard runs on a local area network, so make sure to connect each device to the same network. Number 3. Lose your keychains a lot? Well, with this project, you can find them in a matter of seconds with the sound of a ringing buzz. This project needs an ESP8266 to connect to your phone, a buzzer to alert you, and a battery for it to function. So when a time comes, you lose your keys somewhere around your house, press the button on your phone, and the keychain finder immediately alerts you with a ring. It's a useful and practical project which you can easily program and build on your own. Number 2. Are you looking for a surveillance project at a very low price? Then under $10, you can make a surveillance camera using an ESP32 cam and a 3D printed frame. The camera itself detects the movement and does not require a PIR sensor. As the motion is detected, it notifies you with a message on the Telegram application. And if you have an internet connection, you could view the images and short footage of the intruder from anywhere and take necessary actions. With this project, your premises are secured, and that too on a limited budget. Number 1. You might have seen various rain gauges, but this one's a bit different. It not only detects the rain, but also tells you how heavy the rainfall is. It contains a magnet at the top part of the tipping bucket. Inside this tightly sealed container, it has a PCB with a hall sensor. When the bucket swings, the magnetic field changes and a notification sent to the microcontroller. The microcontroller measures how much time has passed since the last tick, converts it into appropriate units, and sends that info to the home assistant. So, these were some of the good home automation ideas that you can try. Drop a like and subscribe to our channel to keep supporting us. We'll be back with some great project ideas soon. Till then, goodbye!